Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do another cool heat look because I was kind of inspired and um, this is a look that is a little bit different than any of the other cool heat looks I've done because a lot of them, um, I don't know, they're pretty much, I don't know, they're everywhere. So I wanted to do something that was a little different with the cool heat um, that mm, a lot of people might not really uh, know or have seen before. So here's a close up. This is the look that we'll be doing. And I'll take some pictures, of course, after we get done here. So let's get started. Firstly, I prep my eyelid with Painterly Paint Pot. And just apply that all over the eyelid and underneath. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black pencil and I'm going to draw a line in my crease. So something like that. It doesn't have to be good. We're going to blend it out here. I'm going to take an eyeliner brush, smooth out that line a little. Just going to kind of deepen the crease. Then we're going to use Otherworldly Paint Pot. You can use Rolex and whatever you've got. I'm going to apply that just underneath that line we made. And probably do about two coats to get it real vibrant. Let's blend it up into the black line. And you can apply this underneath the eye, or you can use the Heatherette Duo pencil thing. And the, the turquoise side is just kind of sparkly. And I just drew that all underneath my eye. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a flat brush, and I'm going to apply Cool Heat all over the inner the inner corner here and just really pack it on Don't slip with your brush. <laughs> okay, when it's pretty pigmented, I'm going to take... I'm going to switch the sides here and use the, the side that's kind of clean and use Solar White. And apply that right next to the cool heat. And you probably have to pack this one on quite a bit. Don't worry about blending quite yet. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Blue Flame, which is a dark navy blue. Put that on the outer corner here. Touch that up. Okay, then I'm going to use Climate Blue in the crease. We're going to take a real defining crease brush and apply it where we put that black line earlier. And pull it all the way up into the cool heat. Then 
then we're going to take a fluff brush and we're going to put solar white on it using the 217 and blend out solar white and cool heat and blue flame just all the way across the eyelid. kind of touching up the colors as you go. Then put some of Climate Blue into the crease. Again. Just kind of soften up that line. Then using the defining crease brush again, make the color a little bit more bold. Okay, then we're going to put the highlight on. Uh, we're going to use Solar White, of course, and put that right above the eyeshadow you just applied. Blend out that line a little. bit of solar white right here in the inner corner. Then underneath we're going to use cool heat as well. Okay, then I'm going to use Gulf Stream and then Blue Flame. So just like that. Then use Smolder Eye Coal on my waterline. Okay, then I'm going to apply mascara and come right back. Okay, so I used some Polish Choice Blush after putting my foundation on. I used Studio Mist foundation. I don't know where it went. Here it is. It's the kind in the little the little spray can. And some powder and some bronzer. And then I use this Paula's Choice one called Hint of Tan, which I highly recommend her blushes. Um, if you if you like a matte, subtle, soft blush, if you're older, whatever, you just want to do a subdued look, you don't want too much, it's good for that. Anyway, so I did that. And then uh, for lips, what are we going to do? I'm going to use Bare Slim Shine. Called. I'm going to use that one. Let's use Peachy Buns by Fierne. It's a nice champagne-y color. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on as well. Giving you a nice subtle lip. But pretty, very pretty. Okay, so here is the look. Very vibrant, very sexy. Anyway, I'll take pictures. Hope you liked.